Hello guys and welcome to a video by me Bullet Bullets. In this video I'm going to be showing you um, how to make your computer look like Windows 7. Um, now this is it, it's the Windows 7 transformation pack. I've really downloaded it, you just go to this site and click here, don't click the click here thing because I've done that, that was, I'm an idiot. You click the click here, you download it, it took me less than 15 seconds, you then extract it. Um, simple as that and it brings your Vista slash XP slash 2003 desktop to the look of Windows 7. Um, now I've got it here. I'm hoping that um, my computer will still um, show me, show you lot, sorry, the 7 transformation pack installation bit. Hopefully it does. Um, this is going to run really damn slow for me for the fact that I'm doing like three things now. Um, now you'll be brought up with this. Um, it's just uh, it's just telling you the main information. Um, it's saying set Windows Live as a desktop as your um, default home page, which I don't want. Next, obviously you agree. Next. Now it's saying install Seven or integrate Seven Transformation Pack into Windows setup files. And I'm gonna go install Seven Transformation Pack. Now it's asking you about your screen resolution. It means that that mine's a normal screen. And I'm going to leave mine on normal as well, but you just read through this. Now it's saying which mode would you like um, to use for Windows 7. Now, if it's Express Mode, it says here Express Mode Wizard, Wizard will help you decide the most appropriate 7 installation setup for your 7 UI transformation in a few steps. Using Express Mode, you can avoid a lot of confusion options that are hard to uninstall for normal users and get back results in satisfactory conditions. If you'd like to do the full version, that would be the classic mode to set up everything by yourself. Now I'm going to go Express. Now it's saying, it's asking me which components, and it's saying, apply system files, I'm going to do that. High chest that log off buttons, hex for sim buttons. Yeah, I want that. Uh, and I accept. Now it's asking me if I want to install third party applications for some, some seven features. Sidebar, start menu, I'm actually going to leave that there. Um, now next, now it's asking me the desktop theme enhancements. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Now it is saying setup information file. Once the seven installation is set up, you may save your configuration for later uses without reconfiguring anything else all over again. This program will create a file named vtp.sif in an installations folder. You can delete that file to clear the configuration. Save the current setup installation. There you go. Uh, save the current setup of seven installation into setup information file for later uses. Transform. Now this is going to take a bit of time. This bit, I'm guessing. Um, so obviously this is the time that I have to do this because obviously I have to get rid of all of it to do it to show you again. Um, so I'm going to pause the video and show you again later on once it's done. Hello, and I'm back, and as you can see, it's now done. Um, as soon as you've done the installation thing, it will come up that you need to reboot. I obviously couldn't record that because I needed a reboot. Um, but I click OK, and it reboots. It comes back on again, and it's like this. As you can now see, um, a lot of the stuff has changed, including the size of the icons is now to the seven um, to the Windows Seven style. You have your bottom taskbar like Windows Seven, including the square tabs and. In XP and Vista, you're not able to move around the icons at the bottom. In this, you still can. It's able to do that. Um, you've also got the classic in 7 where you're able to pin and unpin stuff, which I'm still able to do, pin. Um, I'm also getting the, the head up here, this part, showing me that. It's also getting that in this. Um, so it's quite a good transformation pack. I'm also getting the side parts, which I really don't like being on for some reason. Um, so I'm turning them off. And then you also get the main Windows 7 transformation pack part. And it's just telling me about things I can still. I, it's telling me that I need to repair my files, which is I I understand why. Um, be able to remove Windows 7 transformation pack straight from here. Um, and you're also allowed to um, configure your account to add and change stuff on here. Um, so it's really quite simple. Um, here's all the, the stuff that you can change and apply. Um, so it really is a, re a quite quick and f easy format. Um, and as you can see, it is. I'm going to go into that. It's going to run really slow now, but as you can see, it has all completely changed. It's to the Windows 7 liking. I'm going to my computer. Oh God, it's running really slow. 
maybe I won't go to my computer. Um, but as you can see, everything has changed now um, to how Windows 7 would look, and it's all free, and you don't have to install see the new operating system like that. Um, here is my computer at long last. Um, this is just my terrible RAM kicking in all over again. And as you can see, it has changed my computer as well to the liking of 7. Um, so this is a video by me, Bullet Bullets. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.